I work at Sunfire Genetics in Gleason Livestock. Um, Sunfire Genetics is around 450 head of cows. Gleason Livestock is around 50 head of sows, and then also about 50 head of the ewes, and then close to 20 head of donor cows. And then at those places, I help uh, clean pens, feed cows, and check cows for newborn babies, run our feed truck, um, work newborns, and then above all, help determine which sires to use to improve our genetic herds. Uh, one of the things I've learned in my SAE is to AI, sow, AI sows and cows, and then also learn how to run our equipment, like our feed truck, or our haying equipment. Uh, livestock judging helps me improve our our herds, and that way we can get the better qual better quality of animals for both both Sunfire Genetics and Gleason Livestock. My biggest challenge is time management, balancing between extracurricular activities and school activities. It can be really hard to get my job do jobs done at uh, at Sunfire Genetics and Gleason Livestock. Well, my SAE is at Green Garden Angus in Ellsworth, Kansas. At Green Garden, we have about 7,000 acres of broke ground and pasture ground. We run about 750 head of cattle. Uh, I started work at Green Garden in 2013 when I ran into Elizabeth Jansen, the uh, daughter of a uh, big rancher in Ellsworth County. Uh, she asked me if I, if I wanted a job for the summer, and I said, sure. So we got together, and I got a job, and I was pretty much the bottom guy. I shoveled manure for a good year. <laughs> After that, they started giving me more responsibilities, letting me help them work cows, help them learn how to AI, and do a bunch of other things. Uh, this year recently, I was actually um, promoted to sort of a ranch foreman position to where I am in charge of everything I am now. Like, I can, I can take a group of the summer help and actually go work a set of cows by ourselves. I'm also, I also help in constructing and designing uh, new cattle working facilities. I really like doing farm work because I did I used to have we used to have a family farm my grandfather used to have a, a 400 acre roughly family farm and I really wanted to get out and expand my knowledge in the field of agriculture for my SAE it is a, my family's customized business that started with my grandpa moved to my dad and now my brother owns it and I just work for them and we run two combines through the summer harvest and fall also. We go to Texas, clear up to North Dakota, and we cut for multiple different farmers along the way. Just our North Dakota job alone is a little over 2,000 acres, and that's about our biggest job right now. But in every area, we cut for multiple different farmers, so it all adds up. And my main job right now is combine driver, uh, I just turned 18, so I will be able to get my CDL to drive truck, but I haven't done that yet. Probably the hardest part about custom harvesting is finding the help. Uh, over the last few years, being, being I'm in high school, that has been mainly my job because you take mainly high school kids, so it's really hard to find enough help for the summer wheat harvest. And we do a lot of things while we're gone on harvest. Also, we get to see a lot of sites. Last year, we went to Mount Rushmore and visited it, and so. It's just good to get away from town and actually get to see sites along the way while you're working. Well, my SAE consists of three components. I work at Winholtz Lawn and Landscaping, uh, Hayes K Lawn, and on my family registered Black Angus farm. Uh, at Winholtz Lawn and Landscaping, I'm in charge of landscape construction, our mowing crew. When I first started out there, I began um, just as a regular crew member. I'd help out where needed, whether that be in construction or mowing. However, as I progressed uh, this past year, I was able to become a crew manager and I'll be in charge of the crew, landscape crew on some days and then every Friday, Friday I'm in charge of the mowing crew. For Hayes K Lawn, I am in charge of the aeration section of that company. Uh, at first, I just started out as being an aerator. I'd go around with another coworker and area lawns across the Hayes, Ellis, and Victoria areas. Now I'm in charge of that crew. I will plan the locations we go to to most efficiently accomplish our job. And then out on my Black Angus farm, I help my dad out, whether that's building sheds, uh, castrating calves, uh, performing simple veterinarian practices on our cattle. 
My essay is in the area of specialty animal production. For it, I have worked and volunteered at the Hutchinson Zoo and the Associated Cargill Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. I started off with just basic volunteer duties, things cleaning, making diets for the animals. Uh, but after a while, I kind of worked up in my responsibilities. I began helping to train other volunteers just when appropriate, uh, assisting with the training of even the animals, which is really exciting. Uh, while working at the rehabilitation center, I had the opportunity to help care for medical, nutritional, and just everyday care needs for orphaned and injured wildlife. By working at the Hutchinson Zoo and Wildlife Rehabilitation Center there, uh, I've gained a lot of just practical knowledge on veterinary science. This has really helped me with the vet science CDE. Uh, it's also really benefited me some of the more ecological things I learned to help me perform well in eco meets. Well, I was really honored and humbled when I heard that I was named South Central District Star in Ag Placement. And I also saw it as a great opportunity to kind of spread the news about these lesser known forms of conservation. Just letting people know that zoos, wildlife rehabilitation facilities, they're out there and they're awesome places to work and to learn about wildlife. My SAE consists of working for my family-owned farm, 3F Farms LLC. We're a diversified ag operation in southeast Kansas. So we have approximately 7,000 acres of corn, wheat, and soybeans. Um, we bale 2,600 bales of uh, Bermuda grass and prairie hay. And then we have 400 cow-calf pair operation, and we also background 500 stalkers each year. Everything's becoming technology-driven. I mean, and that's one of our huge parts of our operation is technology because you know, we're all about that accurate record keeping, and you know that we gotta, you gotta do it, and you gotta take that human error out of there because you've got to get what you can get out of that acre. You know, we really, I've really kind of taken a role in that, and I, I love the technology side of it, and you know, I think it is the future of agriculture. Currently, I'm assuming a degree in agriculture. I wanted to make myself best suitable, you know, to come back to the family farm to be a true asset when I return, and you know, get my education because you know. It's not just about, you know, working the dirt and, you know, planting it. You, I mean, you got to be a businessman and you got to know that. And I mean, that's kind of, I would like to get my degree and then return home to the family farm. I work on the Parker Beely Ranch and my essay is part beef placement. And we, on average, we have 320 head of cows, um, 80 heifers, 12 bulls, and we just calve. We're a cow-calf operation, and my responsibilities are feeding and watering cows, helping with pulling calves, fixing fence, anything. One big thing that I've learned is responsibility, because you can't just go slack off and not go feed cows one day. You can't just not go check their water. You have to consistently do it, and it keeps you on your toes. <laughs> I started doing vet science as a CDE, and that's kind of helped me understand what's going on at the ranch. My future plans are to become a veterinarian and my SAE helped that because I always watched the vet when it came when they came down to help us work our calves. So after watching and learning, I eventually wanted to become a vet. When I found out I was the district star, I was shocked because I was the first one from my chapter and our chapter is pretty young. It's only 5 years old and it's just cool to have that honor.